It is strange to have this whale here. What does that mean? Um, yes, my granddaughters are always very amused when they see a whale hanging up here. It's very big. It's because, in fact, underneath it is the University Museum of Zoology, and this was a, a whale was too big to go in. We've got a little girl coming along in a minute, and she'll probably notice this strange whale. There, because, um, as I say, all the objects are further down, and um, part of the collections came from Charles Darwin, his famous expeditions around the world, and the Galapagos Islands and so on. So that farm formed part of the nucleus of a very good museum because, as we'll see, not only is Cambridge a place rich with libraries, and bookshops and colleges, but it's also rich with museums. There are five or six good museums here. And this reminds us also that zoology and the life sciences, zoology, botany, um, biology, are very strong in Cambridge. For instance, in a building over there was the first place they developed a test tube baby in vitro fertilization was discovered just across the road here. So Cambridge has been strong not only in the physical sciences but also in the natural sciences.